Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. Today's video is about two forms that you need to fill out when you come to Japan. So you're ready to go to Japan. It's the day of your departure. You get on the plane that's destined for Japan. The flight attendant or the stewardess, whichever you want to call them, will give you two forms. One is the disembarkation card for foreigner and the other one is customs declaration. These forms are in Japanese and English. I don't know if they have them in other languages. Those are the two languages, Japanese and English. So I'm going to explain how to fill these forms out. Looking at the disembarkation card for foreigner first, it says arrival. There's also one for departure, but I'm just looking at this one, arrival. Assuming you're entering Japan as a tourist. Here, you will write your family name. That is your surname here. Next is your given names, whatever is on your passport. So your first name and middle name. Date of birth. Write the day, month, year, home address, country name. So if you're from the USA, you would write USA or America. If you're from Canada, you would write Canada. That's your home country. In my case, it's Japan. I live in Japan. City name, okay, the city of the country you're from. Purpose of visit, tourism, business, visiting relatives, others. Maybe it's a university visit. You would check this box and write University of Tokyo, for example. If it's for tourism, check this box. Last flight number, vessel. That is the airplane that you came on. So you would write the code. For example, Japan Airlines 111. So JAL 111. That is the last flight, the name of the airplane that you flew on. Then, intended length of stay in Japan. How long are you planning to stay in Japan? If you're coming as a tourist, then you would write maybe one week or one month. I think most people can get a three month stay. Okay. Next is the intended address in Japan. If you're staying at a hotel, write the name of the hotel and the address if you know it and the number. If you're staying at your friend's place, you would write their address here and their telephone number here. Next is this one. Any history of receiving a deportation order or refusal entry into Japan? Be very careful how you answer this one. If you select yes, most likely you'll be scrutinized. Be honest, all right? In my case, it's no, but in your case, it might be different. Number two, any history of being convicted of a crime, not only in Japan. Again, be very careful how you answer this one. Be honest. If you were convicted in your country for some crime, I would be honest. Check this. You're going to be scrutinized. They're going to want to know what the crime was. See, depending on the severity of your crime, you might be rejected. In my case, it's no. Three, possession of controlled substances, firearms, crossbow, swords, or explosives. The obvious answer would be no. If you select yes, you're bound to be rejected. Okay, so no drugs. Okay, no guns, no weapons. All right, you're not bringing those into Japan. Never. So in my case, no, 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 no. Then you sign it here. That's it. Okay, you put this with your passport. Okay, nothing on the back. Here in the back is a description of what I just talked about. Next is the customs declaration form. Let's start at the top here. Flight number, name of vessel. So if it's Japan Airlines 111, JAL 111. Point of embarkation, that is where you got on. The name of the place where you first got on the airplane. So if it's Chicago, the name of the airport, for example, O'Hara Airport, Chicago. If it's in Toronto, it's Pearson International, Toronto. You would have to squeeze it in. Date of arrival in Japan. So let's say it's today. It is February 15th, 2023. Here you write the date. 
2023, month, 02, day, 1515. Okay, and then name, last name or surname. So you would write your surname here and then your given name exactly on the passport. That is your first name. And if you have a middle name, you write it here as well. Address in Japan, again, accommodation. So if, if you're staying at a hotel, the name of the hotel and the address, Tokyo, Japan, and the telephone number of the hotel. If it's your friend's address, you would write your friend's address here and their telephone number. Next is nationality, your nationality. If you're American, you would write American. If you're Canadian like me, you would write Canadian. Okay, occupation, that is your job. What do you do in your country? Are you retired? Are you a banker? Okay, you would write it here. If you're a student, you write student. Date of birth, year, what year were you born? The month and the day. Then your passport number. Number of family members traveling with you. So if you're traveling by yourself, you don't need to worry about this. If you're traveling with, let's say, um, your wife and three children of various ages. So over 20 years old. Who's over 20 years old? Obviously, it's your wife. So your wife is 20. I'm just assuming maybe she's 19 okay so 20 so your wife and maybe you have um, an adult son so maybe he's 22 or 23 so two people you would write two here not including yourself if you have a child who is between 6 and 19 years old how many one or two okay and under six years old how many one or two okay next is very important this section determines whether you get into Japan or not. Are you bringing the following into Japan, yes or no? If you select any of these yeses, you will be scrutinized. Okay? In my case, it's always a no. But read this carefully. Number one is narcotics, firearms, explosives, etc. Two, meat products, vegetables, animal, plants, etc. Three, go bullion. Four, goods, purchase, souvenirs, gifts, exceeding duty-free allowance. Okay, you have to check the back of this sheet. Commercial goods or samples. And six, any items have been required from someone else to bring into Japan. So, did someone ask you to bring some things into Japan? Yes or no? Be very careful how you answer these. Be honest. Don't bring these items to Japan. You most likely will be rejected. Okay, number two. Cash checks including TC promissory notes. Securities which exceed the amount of 1 million yen or its equivalent. That's like 10,000 US dollars or actually less. Are you bringing any precious metals exceeding 1 kilogram? So you have to declare if you're bringing a total value of a million yen, yes or no. In my case, I don't. But if you are, be honest because they're going to check. Number three, do you have unaccompanied articles? That means, um, did you mail something to yourself? Yes or no. In my case, it's a no. Okay, and here, no for me. Then you go to the bottom and then sign it here. I declare that the above particulars are true and correct. Signature, here. On the back, this is side B. So you can just read this. Description of a company articles. If you choose no to all the questions of 1 and 3 on side A, right over here. Here, 1 and 3. You are not required to fill this section. Okay? And just go down here to one, two, and three. You can go ahead and read this carefully if you want to enter Japan safely. All right? So that is how to fill these forms out. And that is it for this video. Have a good flight to Japan. Enjoy your stay. Bye.